Hello everyone, and welcome to the library. So, um, I've been walking around a bit in here. I haven't seen too much else to do besides uh, do the things that the guy in the suit wanted me to do. Um, so alright, we're on our way to the fusion core. Um, scratch his head. <laughs> Oh, today we are on our way. Hmm. Last time we almost got ourselves killed and uh, narrowly avoided being detect detected by our mom. And today we are on our way to the fusion core to lower the ship's shields no for some reason. No malfunction. These teleporters are kind of wacky. Thanks for traveling with us. They're very, very sassy elevators. And teleporters, not they're not teleporters. They're... Caution entering an area of strong Omicron radiation levels. Full radiation shielding necessary to proceed. Lay it on me. Wait. Thank you. Wait. Goodbye. Hey, where's my helmet? That's just great. I did yeah, I didn't get a helmet. That's not good. Um is it is Can I use this as a helmet? Is this my helmet? Uh, hmm. I'm not getting any closer to that fusion orb without my radiation helmet. Yeah. Boiling my brain is not the kind of danger I'm looking for. Alright, I believe this happened because our head got shrunken by the, um, other the head got shrunken by the elevator when we were, oh, no, I keep calling them elevators, they're not elevators, they're teleporters. Our head got shrunk by the teleporter. Teleporter, activate. May I teleport you to the Nexus? Um, when we went through it last time. Hang on! <laughs> so... What it looks like has to happen. Goodbye. Is I need to figure out some way to. With that shrunk my head, I think that just shrinks your body. And the far left one Teleporter. makes it Activate. so they both shrink. Yes, sir. To the Hall of Heroes. You mean the junk room? Yeah. Not responsible for lost items, motion sickness, or mutations. Yes, yeah, see, you're still mutations, so... Hey, my head's back to normal size. That's because you followed the rules and went back through the proper teleporter. All right, all right, no need to be sassy. I like how the air vent has its own automatic door that no one cares if I go through. The helpless creatures we rescued are being quarantined in there. Wish I could let them out. He, we guess. We always guess. Alright. Let's try the air vents instead of the teleporters. Maybe I can get places that don't require me to do things. Oh, and let's also, while we're here, we'll just probably take our things. This is the star chart for Prima Doom. Let's get where we need to go before we do anything else. We need to go, go here to right away. It's called Prima, Prima Doom. Doom. Negative. That system is forbidden due to likelihood of hostile activity. Of course, yes. But it's an emergency. Sometimes safety is the most exciting adventure of all. Might I suggest somewhere safe, like Puppy Planetoid, Cozy Cluster, or maybe somewhere in the Smile System? Well, I did say I wanted a puppy. Let's try the Puppy Planet. All right. Let's try Puppy Planetoid. I do wonder what... Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Intake calibers in position. Is this an air vent? Weave thrusters at viscosity. 
Spin the right rotation of the yeah, Lots of things are happening. Deploying nav stars in five. We've master man. Have I been through here yet? I can't remember. Oh, wow. Oh, it's... Son, I'm not sure it's safe enough for you to leave your room. I'm tired of being a prisoner in my room. I'm sick of being a prisoner on this ship. I know, son. I know it's hard. You've given up so much. Listen, I'd like to tell you a story. A story of another person your age. A young girl. She wanted to live a normal life, but she was chosen. She was honored with a special duty. Some people would call it a sacrifice, but what she didn't realize at the time was that it was a great honor. Please. I've heard the story of the Sacrifice Girl a million times. I know the ending. The Sacrifice Girl is you, right? What I'm trying to tell you is that I made a hard choice, but I regret nothing because Great story, computer. I'm sorry they programmed you with someone's sad memories, but I have to go. You know the truth deep down, son. And I know you'll appreciate my words someday. Uh-huh. Brother. Dude. Um... Say that- Wow, okay. I did not realize that the- I did not realize that I was carrying around a picture of my mom in the inventory. Oh, that's new. That's something I definitely did not realize. Um, feel kind of bad. Feel kind of bad doing this, doing this to my mom. Uh, seeing as I mean, no, she's just she's trying to help. She's trying to be a mom, and I'm being a rebellious teenage boy. But wow, I didn't realize we were linked so much. I wonder what happens um, if I if I go through the other story. I wonder if there's alternative endings. It's possible that alternative endings. Is this the kitchen? What is this the kitchen? Hey, Daddy. Oh, what's going on? Why did my dad keep watching me? That's freaky. Oh. Can't believe she'd leave something this dangerous lying around. What's that? Nothing. Did I get a knife? I got a knife. You don't talk too, do you? Not unless I have something to say. Hey. Please ignore him, sir. Bad attitude. Bad someone. Wow. These are just props. She would never let me do my own cooking. Too dangerous. Is that? Can I take that? What's that? Emergency rations? I think that's overreacting. What a cool place. Why am I wasting time in this kitchen when I could be out in space? I don't know, man. You're you're the one we got here for. We got a knife for it. So maybe I'll have to use it to defend myself from this evil wolfman. Oh, okay. Wow, it's a spooky looking door. Hey. Why won't this open? Oh, honey, you can't come in here. I'm working on a surprise for you. What is it? Nice try. Hmm. It looks like out in there is space. No, I know. Maybe. Oh, that's parts of the ship back there. Okay. I, I guess it's not. I guess it's not part of that. Hmm. For now, we at least we got our knife, which is good. Um, I feel like. Oh man, I really should have been mapping this place out. I like. I like making maps. The thing I like, I don't know if I'm necessarily good at it, but liking something that's half the battle. I might need something up here. Don't know what I'd need, but. Um, let's see. Let's look. Yes, my love. Hmm. Um. I 
feel like maybe talking to her wasn't the best idea. Shoot. Um... Computer? What's the point of all this? Son, you know how important Operation Dandelion is. Our home, Laruna, was dying, so we set sail in the Bassa Nostra to travel the universe and find you a new home. Why haven't we found a new home yet? Well, the universe is a big place, and it has to be perfect for my baby. It doesn't... So what does Dad do during the day? Oh, your father has a lot of work to do outside, you know? Fixing the hull, scraping off space parasites, keeping a lookout for new planets to live on. Hmm, okay. I guess that makes sense. That, uh, that's why I see him in the windows all the time, that's freaky! But... Is there anybody else on this ship? It's just you, me, and your father, of course. Oh, are you feeling lonely? I could meet you some new friends. Hmm. Oh, this might be a bad idea. I might be messing up. I don't know. So, you've never seen a strange wolf around? Son, I can't keep track of all your yarn pals. Oh, are you saying you'd like a little wolf friend? Well, I've never knit a wolf before, but it should be no problem. Hmm. Hmm. Well, maybe not. Let's maybe not right now. Well, I gotta get back to taking over the ship. <laughs> oh, sweetie, you're so funny. Yeah, I'm, ah, uh, if I can't figure anything else out, I'll probably, I'll come back and I'll try to talk to her. I'll be like, yo, mom, okay, hear me out. <laughs> I gotta, I might do that. Um. Right now I need to figure, I think you said get to the puzzle thing through the airlock. So let's see. Let's see if what we can do, let's see what we can find. All these arrows stay down, I'm assuming we're going down then. Oh, here we go. Whew. I think, I think this one. Teleporter, activate. To the starboard passageway, sir. Alright, I know part of this puzzle there no time. is getting myself but everything the same size, Shrunken. Alright, I think you're not everything small. Or everything should be small. Hmm. I know I've been here already. Can I- do I have to hold this guy up? Can't I ride the train again? Van for life. Dude, okay, you know what? You're gonna let me ride this train! I don't wanna stab that. I do. I have a- oh, everything's scary. Can I stab myself? Stabbing myself is not the right way off this ship. Still might be worth a try. You never know. Dude, what a wow! This guy's weird. I don't know if I like him. All right. I wonder if I can get to the other. Um. Oh. Have I been? Have I? How do I? Oh. What's that? Uh. Spooky scary skeletons. Alright. Oh, this is the Wow. Whoa. You okay, bro? Hey, missions are cancelled. You can drop the act. Hey, I didn't attack you. You guys attacked me. Is that what you came down here for? To point fingers? 
Hey, maybe I can fix your back. Really? Yeah, I think I see what's wrong. Hold still. A broken you're welcome is that a broken crochet hook uh, oh it's bur now can we run the attack mission protocol sure buddy I owe you one for old time's sake <laughs> wow I do wonder what this thing is though hmm I wonder if I could knit with this. Actually, it's a crochet hook, so you could probably crochet with it. Wow. You know a lot about yarn crafts. Wolf costumes don't make themselves. So sassy. Man. Does that mean I need... Do I need to murder my friends and get yarn? Oh, I hope not. Oh, we don't need to do that. Hey, wake up. There? Was? Yeah, yeah. Let's get this over with. Looks like someone can't wait for this. It's like I don't want to. No, I just. Ah. I don't want to. I don't. How do I? Where do I get yarn? Where would I get yarn? All right. Um. Let's keep exploring. Whoa. Is that mom? Don't you have anything else to do? Just making sure you're safe. As, as it has been forever. Oh, no, we have ice cream land! Okay. Okay. I probably have to get something here, too. Oh, the door! Oh, that's so much. Oh! Wow. What is that? Look at all that ice cream. Don't try to steal it! The path is dangerous and covered in... whipped cream! Oh, no, not whipped cream. We're doomed. Whoa. When the candy and treats are all you can eat 24 7, they just aren't that appetizing anymore. Oh, this kid's got some real tough problems! Shh! said to my face. It's a whipped cream gun. Oh, what? And it's. Oh, mine. wow, okay. Warning. Contains artificial sweeteners suspended in a powerful propellant. Do not discharge into eyes. Oh, I would very much like to discharge whipped cream into my eyes. Thank you very much. Do we really need all that whipped cream? Yes. Yeah, to keep you away from that ice cream up there. There's no stopping you in that too. So, what's up here? Careful, that whipped cream is unstable. Oh, oh. Oh. Ah. Wow. Um. Maybe I need to use this gun? Warning. Contains artificial sweeteners suspended in a powerful propellant. Do not discharge into eyes. I'm saving my cream for a matter of life and death. This is probably going to turn into a matter of life and death. Uh. I guess I'll just go for it. Okay, so I'm not supposed to go up there. Got it. <gasps> I can send my little grabby dude. He's probably lighter than me. Get it, dude. Nah, Gary prefers to grab frozen yogurt. Gary, this is not the time to be piggy. This is not the time. When the candy and treats are all you can eat 24-7, they just aren't that appetizing anymore. Oh, darn it, Gary. All right. Oh, maybe I need to, maybe I need to knife the whipped cream gun so it melts. I don't want to. Are you sure? That. I do. Uh, they're obviously relevant somehow. Do we really need all that whipped cream? Yeah, to keep you away from that ice cream up there. There's no stopping you and that. Oh, hmm. No stopping me and my spoon, you say? Don't see anything there I want to eat. I'm going to go eat all that ice cream. I wouldn't. The road is dangerous and full of whipped cream. I'll 
so you're gonna get super fat. Wow. Thanks. <laughs> oh. Oh, I bet I know. Oh, I bet I know. There's a spoon in my... Nah. Gary doesn't like to grab things that can talk back. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Gary. Hmm. What do you do? Nah. Gary thinks that's too messy to grab. Gary is the pickiest robot I have ever met, ever. He should cool his jets. Let's go play cards with these guys. Hey, guys. You want to run the Avalanche Mission Protocol? Hey, we're supposed to be on break! Hmm. Yes. Sorry, I just want to practice my Avalanche rescue skills. Oh, because that situation comes up a lot in space? Come on, Nesbitt. I can use the hours. Hours? Position right. one, everybody! Nesbitt? I guess it seems Nesbitt. <laughs> And I tried sticking up the conductor, that was my first thing I tried. Maybe we need to blast him in the face with air? Or... Hmm. Hard to say. Alright, okay. Just came from there. Oh, that's right, okay, airlock stuff. I was in the puppy planebuloid or whatever, so if I ah oh, see this is why I need a map. I need to find my way back to the uh, planetoid, planetoid plaboroid, that thing. Um. Well, it is a cute little planetoid. I'll give it that. Hmm. I'll talk to Wolf Job about all this. I was gonna, I was gonna call him Wolf Job. He's like, in case you don't know Wolf Job. It, Game Grumps, Game Grumps is a wolf. <laughs> Game Grumps is a wolf job thing. That's the opposite of that. Just well, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off here. This episode uh, went a bit long, and I apologize for that. And it's mostly because I didn't really know what I was doing. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play around a bit. I'm gonna figure out what needs to happen, and I'm going to come back with that knowledge. And we'll be. I'll be back next time, um, with knowing what I have to do. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if you're liking it, the series so far, leave a comment, uh, leave a like, um, or just like, top, if you know what's up, I'd appreciate any assistance. Um, so yeah, thank you, thank you very much, and I will see you when I see you. Have a good day.